What's up guys, TRS KSS here, and today I have a brand new video for you. Haven't really uploaded in a while, but that's okay, you know, we're going to hopefully get back to the daily uploads pretty soon here. But anyways, I mean, hopefully you guys are having a great day so far. It's Sunday today, so hopefully you guys had a great weekend, and hopefully you enjoyed the football games, and you're going to enjoy the one that's going on tonight, and you know, all that stuff. If you're not, then I mean, I'm sorry to hear that, and I hope that your weekend will get better, or that your day will get better, but if you are, I mean, that's awesome, and I'm glad that you're having a good weekend. But today, I mean, I was having a pretty okay day, and then I got some news from my Twitter page that's kind of unfortunate, that's a little bit depressing, that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys about GTA Online. So before we begin, if you guys could drop a like on the video to show your support, then I'd really appreciate that. And also, if you guys could be ever so nice and subscribe down below, you know, maybe if you're brand new here, then I would really appreciate that as well. Now, while you're at it, make sure that you do leave a comment, because if you guys leave a comment on the video, then I'll go ahead and reply to some of you, and maybe even follow you guys back on Twitter. So leave your Twitter handle down below if I don't follow you. And I will go ahead and follow you back and just make some of you guys' weekend a little bit better. But anyways, guys, today I have some news from GTA Online that is a little unfortunate. That's going to make some of you guys kind of sad. Now, this news comes from Yan2295, who is a leaker in the GTA community. I mean, he's helped us out with a lot. He's really reputable. He's gotten almost every single like speculation correct and things like that but apparently what happened is he was at an interview with a rockstar games employee now i'm not sure how he got the interview set up i'm not sure if they did it over skype or if he actually went to the rockstar games offices up in new york city or wherever or however he did this interview you know i'm not really too sure on that but he published an interesting article to his website today that i think a lot of you guys should go ahead and hear about so the title of the article is GTA Online Updates Are Going to Start Slowing Down, and he says, I see a lot of people starting to talk about the next GTA Online update, or even updates, and I see a lot of people with high hopes. I don't know exactly where to start this, but I'll try my best to explain what I know and what I expect to happen. But of course, and as usual, this could all change, so take that as rumors. Now he says, basically, according to what I've heard, GTA Online updates are going to slow down this year to then stop Yes, guys, completely stop. It's not going to be like one every three months or anything like that. They're going to completely stop around the time Red Dead Redemption 2 will release. So that's like in the fall. So that means that we still have about like maybe eight months of GTA Online updates, maybe through August. But as you guys have seen, we haven't really gotten anything yet for January. So that means that we really only have seven extra months left in the year that Rockstar could release something. Seven Tuesdays of each month that they could possibly release something. Now, he says this, you would think that Rockstar would want to end GTA Online with something big, but what if we already got that something big? Then he says, don't you think that the import and export update would have felt different and would have been a good way to end GTA Online updates? Well, that's because if you go back around a year, that is exactly what Rockstar wanted to do. Import-Export was supposed to be the last GTA Online update. So as you guys saw in Import and Export, and I believe that we now have all of the cars that were supposed to be released. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I do believe that we have all of the cars. They, re they released a lot of stuff, and they added in a ton of game modes and a ton of you know weapons and vehicles and new properties and warehouses and things like that. And if that was the last GTA Online update or the last real update that they're going to release, I think that that was really cool. I mean, I had a really good time playing it when it came out. As you guys saw, I mean, I was on streams with friends and things like that. But it was just a really fun update when it came out, and that came out back in December of 2016. Now, of course, he does address the other side of this, and he says, but we're now more than three years after the release of GTA Online, and it still brings a lot of money, so guess who wants more updates? Take-Two, of course. Now, Take-Two is the parent company of Rockstar Games. Basically, they own Rockstar. GTA Online is their cash cow now, and they don't want it to die, even though Rockstar Games are done with it. So it does appear like Rockstar is, you know, just kind of out of ideas, 
for updates and things like that, and we'll get into that in a minute, and that Take-Two is the only thing that's holding them back from just completely closing off all the GTA Online updates. Because if you guys didn't know, there's a lot of shark card purchases and a lot of things. So maybe if you guys don't have a modded account and you buy a lot of shark cards to get the new cars and things like that, whenever they have a brand new DLC, they get a lot of money on that day. And that money is good for the company. You know, they like to report their earnings on it. And then, of course, you have people that are every single day going out and buying the game that maybe haven't had it. You know, maybe they are buying a new copy or something like that. Or maybe they're even upgrading to one of the other consoles or the PC. Now he says, They are out of ideas and resources at this point. So what happens when the developers or Rockstar are out of, are out of ideas? They will come up with smaller and less creative updates, maybe reusing content from previous updates and using it in a different way. So as you guys have seen, I mean, Finance and Felony was the start to basically what he's talking about right here. I mean, we have now these CEO organizations, we have biker organizations, we have the Securo Serve organizations. We have like five different organizations that you guys can all be a part of on GTA Online. And to be honest, that's kind of what he said. I mean, the Finance and Felony update with the CEO work and everything like that, kind of started it off, and now as you guys can see, they've had to do, you know, like bikers, where you sell drugs and things like that. They've had to do the CEO, where you guys will steal, like, exotic paintings. They've had to do import-export, where you guys import the cars that you steal and export them as well. So now, I mean, that is kind of disappointing to think that the game that had so much potential that a lot of people come on to and play every single day and enjoy playing it with their friends is going to be out of updates soon and that it's just going to kind of be left to die out. Now I know that of course some people are going to be like well GTA Online is not going to die out anytime soon there's still obviously going to be a lot of people playing it but if you guys think about it if there's really no reason for Rockstar to update the game then that obviously means that once the modders can find a way over onto the PS4 and Xbox One that they're going to start modding in those games and GTA Online is just going to not be what it is anymore. You know, there won't be as many people on. There will be modders that are, you know, making videos, doing money lobbies, hosting different things. And it's just not going to be the same game that a lot of people have played for three years. And of course, for YouTubers, this isn't good as well. Because that means that their content is now going to come to an end soon. Because as you guys know, Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out. And to switch your channel from GTA right over to Red Dead Redemption 2 would be a little bit weird. I mean, I'm sure that a lot of the big YouTubers are going to be doing that. But you can't just make GTA 6 speculation videos or, you know, GTA 5 in real life videos like some people out there. Now, the last and final thing that Yan says in his email on his website is he says, Apparently Rockstar North is divided into four parts as of right now. Some people are helping San Diego with Red Dead Redemption 2. Some people started working on the next GTA. And some people are working on another game. So that means that, of course, Rockstar does have GTA 6 possibly planned. They're working on some type of other game. And they're also finishing up Red Dead Redemption 2 because that's supposed to come out this year. Now he says, so you're left with only a few people to work on GTA Online. You can't have updates as big as we have had in the past when you have four times less developers working on Grand Theft Auto Online. That's just possible. Now he says his last remark, so basically if nothing changes, and according to what I heard, we should not expect big updates for GTA Online anymore. Just some stuff to keep it alive, but nothing more. So, like I said, I mean, if you guys think about that, that is a little unfortunate for especially some of the YouTubers out there that are making content on this game every single day. And as you guys have probably seen with my videos and with other YouTubers' videos, there isn't as much to make DLC videos on or make GTA speculation videos on because they're getting a lot more secretive with their information. They're starting to move everything over to Red Dead 2. And they're starting to just 
not update the game as much. And so it's unfortunate for YouTubers out there, unfortunate for players, because the game is not going to be the same after they release Red Dead Redemption 2. And for a lot of you guys that have been expecting big DLCs and, you know, the nightclub and all this other different stuff, story mode expansion, Liberty City, all that stuff probably isn't going to happen. So guys, if you did enjoy the video today, make sure that you drop a like, and also don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new here. But anyways, that's really all I have. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.